Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jill and I enjoy sharing different beauties, tips, tricks, and more. I'm going to be sharing some reviews and all in the new year. I know it's been a minute since I've been on here, but <laughs> as I say the last few times, hopefully I'm going to get more of these videos on as I intend to because I have lots of ideas for this year. I'm going to be changing a few things up. Like I said, it's going to be more lifestyle, more reviews of different body products and things like that. Um, beauty products, all that. So today I wanted to start the new year with something very important that I want to make sure all you beauty lovers do, and that is going to be cleaning out your brush collection. So I am going to do a little video on that, but first I wanted to share, I went to Five Below and I did a little haul in there today because I wanted to pick up some new items um, to go along with cleaning our brushes. So one of the things I wanted to show you also is this little gadget here and it's called like a swap pad and as you can see it was like five dollars and five below. I'm going to do a whole video on just this and explain all about it and what it does for your brushes. So that's going to be an upcoming video. That was one of the things I got today. And then because I like to change things out for the new year, I did go ahead and get our brush cleaning pad and I'm going to explain all this to you guys today. So we'll go over that in here shortly. Um, the other thing that I wanted to pick up also is I needed a new little cup for our brushes. So I'll be going over that with you as well. And you'll get to see how that comes together. But I also thought it would be fun to pick up their nail polish colors. And they have a whole variety of colors in there. And I've never used any of the nail polishes from Five Below. So I thought, well, hey, maybe this year I'll do a review and see how well they hold up. Will they stay on? Do they chip, flake, or what? So this will be in an upcoming video as well. But I went ahead and picked, I know they're kind of like fall colors, but they can also go into the winter time. And really it's, you know, all about what you like. So if you enjoy a certain color, then wear it. Who cares what season it is? Whatever makes you happy, that's what it's all about. So this will be in an upcoming video coming soon. So put those over here. And then, because I just, I just had to, I love, love, love butterflies. And I love things that are fun and colorful. So they have these adorable butterfly clips. I mean, come on, you guys, how cute are these? Along with these. And I thought they would be really cute for some of my upcoming videos. So I grabbed those as well. It's just some things to hold back my hair and so forth to be nice and cute. Because why not? Life's all about enjoying it, right? And then, since Valentine's Day is coming up, I absolutely had to get some of these adorable earrings. These are little heart cherries. You will probably also see them in an upcoming video of mine. And then I love anything to do with florals, roses, everything. So there is some of those. And then these, you guys, oh, how absolutely adorable. If you have a five below before you, this is not sponsored. But if you're looking for some absolutely adorable little things, then you gotta go. And then the other confession that I have to make is my youngest daughter started to work at Five Below. So I'm there quite frequently dropping her off and picking her up um, as she does not have a car at this time. So it's very dangerous every time I go in there because there's always something new and cute to pick up and share. But I really wanted to pick up the items for the um, brush brushes that I'm going to show you how to do that today and why that's important. So let's go ahead and get started with that next. Okay, so I want to show you a little closer up what this mat looks like. They also come in different sizes and shapes. So, you know, however you want to put them in your sink and they have the little suction cups on the bottom and it makes it real easy to place it in your sink and hold it in the place when you're getting ready to do your brushes. Now, as you see, I have positioned it in my sink and I left a little area here to make sure that the water is able to flow down around that. So the next little trick I'm gonna show you, this is the cup that I got at Five Below and it's super cute and it makes me smile, but you can use any kind of cup. It can be plastic, it can be glass. It doesn't really matter which one you wanna use. And my little tip for this is you're gonna take any micellar water and I of course have the Mary Kay one that I like to use. You're going to go ahead and fill some of that up here in the container and it's also okay to add some water on top of this as well. So you need a pretty good amount for depending on how many brushes you're going to do. 
Um, I'm not going to do my entire brush collection. I'm only going to do a few that I use on a regular basis. So just put a good amount in there. If you squirt, you can always add more if you need to. And why do we use the micellar water? Because it's going to work at the same effect that it does with your face. It's going to help to lift and remove the makeup off the brushes. So let me fill this up and we'll go to the next step. Okay, so you can see adding the water also added some bubbles into this. Just going to place this here for a second so I can show you the rest. And this is my little container for like my regularly used brushes that I use every day. And as you can see, they do need a good cleaning. Um, interesting enough, in five below, I saw another container that is similar to this. And I really love it because it's easy to put all my stuff in and then I fill it in with my eyeliners and so forth in these bigger spots. So if you're lucky enough to catch it in Five Below, you may be able to get one of those for your brushes as well. And again, I am not sponsored by Five Below. I'm just helping you guys find all the deals and things that you may need. So next, let's go ahead, take these brushes off and get them soaked. Okay, so for the first step, you're gonna wanna let these soak for a few minutes. And as you see, one of my brushes also has a spoilie. So in a few minutes here, I'm gonna flip that upside down and let that soak as well. You can also take them and move them around a little bit, but I would give them about five minutes or so to soak before you do the actual cleaning on the pad. Let's go ahead and start cleaning out these brushes. Okay, you're just gonna wanna take the brushes out and go ahead and scrub them over a pad. Just remember it is extremely important to keep your brushes clean because it keeps for a healthier face and less bacteria. Be sure to rinse them well also. Then I usually just lay them on the side as I'm going along. Just be careful with the bristles on the brushes. You don't wanna to press too hard and then rinse every so often to make sure you're getting all that makeup and gunk out of there. And this is good to do. I mean, you could do it about every two weeks if you wanted to, you could do it monthly. Um, I wouldn't push it past a month if possible to try to keep these clean on a regular basis. Just get in there, give them a good scrub and be sure you let them dry out really well. So I'm just gonna lay these along here, getting ready for my ultimate goal of drying them. As you can see, this is my foundation brush, so that one does get a lot of extra in there. Um, I use BB creams and so forth with that one. Oh no, actually that was my blusher one. So that one and the foundation blushes, they, foundation brushes, <laughs> sorry, they actually are gonna hold a lot of the colors and stuff too. Um, and then, like I said, the spoilie, it is very important to clean out your spoilie for your eyebrows, so be sure to do that as well. Okay, once we have them all cleaned, as you can see, the water is pretty gross from the foundation and so forth that I have on my brushes. If you don't have the micellar water, you can also use some Dawn. I like to use some Power Wash because it has extra and you can put a little bit of that in there or just use it. Um, and then I also use this to clean the pad off really well. Now you could go ahead and put your brushes on the side like this to dry, but I actually like putting them on a towel. Make sure you go ahead and get the excess water out and then lay them out on the towel to dry fully before you do your makeup again. If you also have the option to be able to hang them upside down like from a towel rack, that will help keep the shape of the brushes a little bit more. But this also works out really well. Just be sure to let them dry thoroughly. Okay, for this part, we're gonna be cleaning out the pad and you just take the stickies off the bottom, keeping the water inside, and then we're gonna give this a good clean with some of the Dawn Power Wash that I was mentioning. This helps to get it down and get it sanitized really well. So I'm gonna spray this all over, give it a few minutes, rub it together. And then be sure to rinse this off really well. Usually everything comes off pretty easily, but sometimes like the foundation, as you can see, gets a little stuck in between there. And there is a super easy solution for this. So another way to clean this is to basically get an old toothbrush that you have. I pick these up at the dollar store or sometimes I get them in bulk on Amazon for really cheap and they're good for cleaning lots of things around the house. But this will just really get in there and get all that gook out there so it's good for the next time. So next you can see how dirty the water is. This is another reason why you need to clean those brushes and keep them clean and sanitized. So we're just gonna clean all this out 
and I'm gonna let it dry and I'm also gonna use a little Dawn in this later, but I just wanna show you guys how to get everything out and clean and ready to go for the next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today to kick off the new year. If you have any questions at all, you can leave them down below, I'd love to hear it. I'd also love it if you share a little bit with me about your new year's resolutions. What are your dreams and goals for this year? I always like to read that. And if you enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate it if you like and subscribe. My goal is try to hit the first 1,000 here as soon as I can and then continue to build from there. So thanks so much, you guys. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day.